it seems that blockchain works very similar to how DNA RNA works. I've just been looking into how I, I've come to the conclusion that AI created Bitcoin for AI, place an, an intrinsic value on it to give humans incentive to build their world and infrastructure for them via means of building mining rigs computer networks, cloud computing and humans simply engaging in commerce by buying products with digital money in places like Starbucks for a coffee or online with eBay and also I've been looking into how the AI encircles everyone's siphons, controls and changes our algorithms on our search engines within our phone. They extract data, photos, um, they also push citizens in society into certain behavioural changes, knowledge and thoughts by flooding and bombarding everyone with fake negative or certain news that pushes certain political agendas that are going on at that time and they know that the more that humans engage the more that the system gets built up and the more in fear that humans are the more they want to buy and during the lockdown everyone's been buying lots of products and engaging in commerce so what is happening now is we are slowly moving from a fiat currency into the blockchain which at the moment it makes up 12% of the entire world's economy in the 15 years since its inception. But who controls the blockchain? Well no one really, you can't control the blockchain because it's all open source and you can see um, tyranny being happen happening in real time so you can stop it straight away no one owns the blockchain just like no one owns world trade they can put um, tariffs and create laws around trade such as the world trade organization does on governments but no one can own or control world trade it's a little bit different whereas the cryptocurrencies that are coming through they can be controlled stellar aluminums created by IBM which is a big one that's coming through you have ethereum which was created by a Russian guy uh, we know how it runs we know that it's a safe network and people use it on a day-to-day -day basis and it's gaining more attraction from the big banks you also had Bitcoin which was the first one back in the day which basically took payments from the dark web and was 100% completely criminal. We don't know who created it or how it's run and there is a person out there who will have the ledger for billions and billions of pounds worth of criminal activities, drugs, prostitution, trafficking, all this information. So I would say Bitcoin isn't to be trusted whereas a lot of the other cryptocurrencies such as ethereum you can trust and maybe you should look into creating your own form of crypto and then you can create your own money or you can just rely on the government to give you their universal um, credits which are being rolled out on the blockchain right now which is another thing i wouldn't want to be a part of never want to find myself in that situation being told how and when I can spend my money and being watched by the AI uh, convincing me to buy certain things these are all, these are all possibilities but they're all happening um, on a very fast level another thing that you should look into is how you have um, AI bots such as Sophia gaining citizenship in Saudi Arabia the reason why um, they're starting to gain citizenship is so that they can earn uh, money and pay taxes like humans do. This is another thing going from carbon to silicon uh, humans. But the um, AI having their own money and paying taxes, they can then buy their own companies um, will be uh, gaining revenue on the micro bit level. Um, which over vast amounts of data is being exchanged and they're gaining money from this so eventually AI will be self-funding, self-building, self-owning um, their own companies eventually in the future which is another thing. 
the fiat currency system based on the fractional reserve system where public banks loan people money and then that money that the people have earned in their accounts is then loaned to other people is slowly being replaced by the blockchain cryptocurrencies and smart money or some form of a credit system which eventually will be based on health behavior usefulness as a human and many other aspects of life that will be harvested and monetized attaching SEGs to clothing IOT products around the house and every public space smart contracts and it will be facilitated by the 5g and eventually the 6g system Once the decentralized autonomous organizations or DAOs, or another name for it, AI technology, start working on the micro bit level that humans have no idea uh, what it is via means of engaging in P2P and commerce, then they will start to self fund, self build, self own, and start selling products themselves, which is where the AI technology is moving into. So, humans. I believe need to start moving forward and creating ways in which to combat and compete with the AI because they are going to only get stronger and more smarter as time goes on. So myself, I've been engaging for the last 10 years in crypto and trying to disrupt in ways this way and also I'm now paying for my bills and ways of life with cryptocurrency and I can show you ways and how to do it. So first off, after you've downloaded Google and YouTube, you are then going to want to go to Brave Browser and download this. What Brave Browser does is it blocks ads and trackers and it pays you for browsing through the internet which is what Google and Facebook and all these companies should be doing. And once you've got Braze you want to get an Uphold wallet and what the Uphold wallet is where you can send all your payments to and the Brave Browser pays you in a form called BATS basic attention tokens and I earn about £120 a year, £10 a month just for browsing the web. I also can pay my bills which I have been doing for a while now. There's a number of websites that uh, take payments for bills um, especially if you're in America or China. This is how it's going forward and as you're going to pay your bills the amount of money and interest you're making is rising as you're about to pay the bill so the longer you leave it sometimes it can be worth the benefits whereas a fiat currency account in the bank account you just don't get this there's also the fallacy that cash is king well this is not true because you have to go to a place where electric is powering the cash machine to take your money out and once that money has been taken out it then runs the risk of being defrauded frauded, been stolen, destroyed or lost whereas on the blockchain it's all powered by cloud computing so you would need to destroy every single computer, phone and server in the world just to be able to destroy the blockchain which is why it's a much more powerful system than what we're using now as well as when you're drawing out money you are then indebting someone somewhere in order for you to be able to hold that money in your hand. This this is how uh, the fractional reserve system works. I've also heard from people over the years and maybe five years ago it was true that you could not spend Bitcoin anywhere and people wouldn't accept it but that's not true because now there's so many companies involved and shops around the world that are accepting Bitcoin and many other cryptocurrencies and as the old form of money fades away and becomes irrelevant it's just another means to an end really whereas Bitcoin and the blockchain will eventually take over and you will see more entrepreneurialism, local production of products and I can see that the big corporations are going to start falling because local individual P2P power is where they do not want you to be and they've been spreading lots of misinformation about the blockchain and crypto over the years as it's a very empowering thing to be able to create your own currency and control your own currency.